welcome to my CM20 capstone video. My name is Lucas Knight and I'm here to describe some of the things we learned throughout the semester in CM20. We started off CM20 with taking photos, which would be harder than you would think because you have to change all the settings for each individual picture, but it helped me gain skills that I won't forget and now I won't look at taking a picture this any other way. Other skills I ended up learning this semester in CM20 was I learned how to use Premiere Pro in a more productive and faster way and I started to learn how to use Adobe After Effect which is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Another thing that I ran into was planning. We had to learn a whole bunch of planning and organization before we made videos. This part I wasn't too good at but there's always room to improve and places to learn. There are some good things and bad things about CM20. If you don't stay unfocused or you like to kill time by doing nothing, this class probably isn't for you because you got to be focused 90% of the time. The other 10% would be planning and having your little bits of fun, but that usually comes out while filming. With my skills that I've learned throughout this semester, I am now able to pursue higher educations and use jobs for the future. They would be more like video editing for major companies, websites, designs, and more digital and technology field. We were given responsibilities in our class that we would just have to keep our work and do it on time and keep it in a timely fashion. Marking is done kind of in a weird way that you wouldn't be used to while taking this class. For you, you have to, for you to get your assignments marked, you have to put it on YouTube. Make sure you have your planning and organization pre-checked and then you have to sit down with Mr. Lendrum and watch videos. There's good things because you get a better knowledge of what you could do better and what skills you could obtain and learn more from, but there are some downfalls. When you are busy or when you're behind and you need to get things marked, you're usually waiting in lineups because there's so many kids to get marked. It's not a fast way of marking. This year we also started doing journals, which we would write every week on a Friday. I wasn't a big fan of them because by the second week, you, if you didn't get any progress done, you had nothing to write. 